Hey folks, Archman here. <clears throat> A little gear review. This is kind of one of my first, uh, as far as memory serves, um, dedicated reviews to a piece of music gear. And that's just because um, this pipe bomb is outstanding. Um, basically, and I don't think I've seen another review for it. Um, basically, guys, I am kind of traveling right now, and when I'm down here um, in Turlingwood, Texas, I spend a lot of time off the grid. So, I wanted a battery-powered guitar amp that also had capability to play my iPod through it. And so that's kind of what this guy is for and what I had in mind for it. I've been nothing but disappointed with most of the offerings that cover both of those um, uses, including the like the Roland Microcube. Not, just not very happy with it. Not to mention this has internal internal rechargeable battery okay and that's that's awesome so this whole thing unplugged ready to go uh, for your uses all right and it's fantastic you can see it's made out of a piece of pvc and it's ridiculous little. i could screw up a bowling ball so um but i'm kind of uh attracted by this this one piece no frills design okay um so basically yeah man Made in the United States. I don't know if you can see that or not. These guys are handmade by the folks that make them. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, so the only place you can get them is from pipebomb.com. Okay, you can see the URL there. Check it out. Um, and then you've got like the speaker grill. It's just kind of like a piece of, uh, it's all just PVC parts except for these, these plates here. It's really neat the way you can't see it right now, but there's a light inside that backlights all the the, the uh, labels for the controls here. And just to show you, and you can see this online too, but um, on their website. But it's got the aux in for an MP3 player, the volume slash on off, um, the tone, the acoustic electric, the guitar input, and you can see there the output headphone output. And I'm kind of excited about that, like plugging it into a PA for like open mics or stuff like that. I haven't done that yet, or even listened to headphones. But um, outstanding, yeah, outstanding product here. Uh, can't really say too much about it without hearing it, but rest assured, it's amazing. First thing I'm going to do is plug it into my iPod, um, and we'll see how that sounds. Okay, so I'm going to that really quick. And you just use a double-sided um, eighth inch stereo jack you can find at any radio shack and whatnot. Okay, so I'm going to play some Franz Fons Ferdinand for you here. Sounds a lot better with guitar, but When the music plays, you can feel the air coming out. I don't know if it's intentional, but these are kind of like bass ports in some way. And you can tell a sound difference when you block those or whatever. So that's the uh, iPod input, MP3 input, what have you, which is outstanding. Um, I mean, I have had one of the Bose iPod docks and I don't know, this thing is definitely way louder. Um, at lower volumes, the sound is maybe a little bit better through that Bose guy. But <laughs> I would buy this in a heartbeat before I would ever consider one of those again. Um, but, uh, yeah, so that's the MP3 input. Okay, now I'm going to go with the guitar. 
that out to this little bit. This laptop's a little bit. Um, all about the sound. Um, I know you can hear the hard drive whacking away there. And that's the best way to it. But this is a, just a 99 US uh, Deluxe Stratocaster, Ash Stratocaster. Um, totally stock. Normally I'm not a huge fan of it. This is just kind of like my, my beater traveler guitar, traveling guitar. But it's a workhorse, not very well in tune, but it doesn't necessarily need to be for these purposes. So I got everything on tin here, that's where I generally keep it. I'm using the neck pickup. My favorite. It's actually a little muddy. My hum my uh, PRS hollow body with the um, humbuckers sounds less muddy somehow. And I don't know if that's even an option. Electronics in this guitar, I don't use it all that much. So that's, uh, that's with the volume on the pipe at about 2 o'clock. So the only only gripe I have about it is the battery life is nowhere near what they say it is in my usages, um, which may be a little higher volume than intended. But you know I'm getting about four hours out of the battery, and uh, you know your mileage may vary. But man, pyp-bomb.com, check it out and uh, leave me a comment. And uh, thanks for watching the video. Palabra tu madre. Hope it was. Uh, Formational for you. Adios.